Hello, welcome to this episode of I Go Gaming, and today we I will be giving you a tour of my underwater house and village. Ready, let's go. So, yeah, I marked it with a beacon, so I won't really use it. But look, you can already see it. That's really nice. Um, so here's the living part. There's a secret mining thing down there. Um, over here, there's an area. So there's a little fish area. Over here, once I pull this lever, the pistons bring down the glass, making fish be able to come out over here, and they would probably get into this water at some point. And in this water, um... They can easily swim up into the open ocean. Um, and I made this all in creative. Of course, that's kind of obvious. Probably. Like, this would take forever to make in survival, which it takes forever to make in creative anyways. But there's a little in-water tunnel thing. Um, this is the lab part. There is a bed. There's a diving spot. Um, there's chests and barrels. And bookshelves and more chests and lecterns and enchantment table. And um, let's go into the diving spot. So there are um, monster spawners to spawn fish every once in a while. Um, and I even made some of my own air bubbles because... In real life, turtles need air to survive. In Minecraft, they don't, but they still like relaxing it on land. I mean, yeah, I know this is underwater, but there's a little air bubble, which they still like. Um, that guy's trying to get in, but there's flowing water, and so he can't. Um, but there's air bubbles in here. I believe there's three. Yep, three. Uh, that is, oh, and I made some canyon tangima bobbers. Um, then, this is not even, actually, it is kind of near all of it, but at the same time, not near at the same time. Um, I also made my <laughs> own underwater minecart, which took Forever to make. It took me like three hours, and it's not even really that big. Um, so yeah, we just ride the minecart, obvious. So right now it's just in the stone and stuff under the water, but now it is under the water. And there's an air bubbles because I made some glass. I did have to fill it in though to make air bubbles. Um. But, so that's the main reason why I took a long time, but also because I had to make glass so that it just wouldn't immediately be refilled with water. So it's decent. I added some sea lanterns and stuff so that you could see. You can see our underwater house there. My underwater house would be specific. You can also see the underwater village thing. So over here, this is just a minecart to the tree area. But one of my trees that's not actually very secret, that one right there, the really big one that my mouse thing is on, um, it has a door in it that has a ladder that goes all the way down into the village. So, two mine cards. Um, so if we just come over here, yeah, there's a door. Then we just climb all the way down. An another underwater tunnel, except it's going down. Here is the underwater village. This is for one, it's just villagey stuff. Just beds, a little bit of farm and crafting tables and stuff. Um, the floor one isn't much. But if we go up to floor two here, it's a teeny bit more. I have a little animal cages thing. This one is for dolphin and cods. Because dolphins eat cod, they just don't hunt them, but <laughs> they do eat them, if you feed them it. 
This one's for tropical fish. They all like hiding off there, and it looks like most of them actually died. Whatever. Salmon. Sea turtles. Um. And there's an underwater tunnel that takes a while to get 100% through. Uh. Yes, sir. Um. Yeah, this is the underwater tunnel. There, yeah. Generally, when you're in the underwater t tunnel, it takes a while for it, it to load uh, the glass to the point where you can actually see it. And there's a ton of diving spots every once in a while. But, kelp forests. Um, still, kelp forests. Um... This also has an air bubble and was made the same as the mine cart. Still, kelp forest and another diving spot. All these little area things have a diving spot and has a sign saying what it is. Minus one for the saying what it is and a diving spot. And if we go over here, shipwreck. Um. And it actually did not come with any supplies or anything in the chests for some reason. Another dabbing spot to explore, even though it's small. It has nothing in it. Also, so you can just explore this little area, I guess. Wow, we're already almost there. I thought it took a little bit longer to get through. Um, over here is the what I call the magma canyon because it's an underwater canyon and it has magma blocks in it which I did not place it was naturally there then there's just stream light blocks which I did place for light and decoration there's also redstone and obsidian and stuff and coal and iron and obviously wire water from the outside um another diving slot it's not much down here but there is some stuff um yeah that's the end of this tunnel thing Ooh, what I forgot to show you earlier in the village um, which in order to get to the tunnel you have to go through the village so should not take too long to get to the village from here um, there is another tank for pufferfish on the first level that I forgot to show you however I'm pretty sure you know what pufferfish looks like but I'm still going to include this in this video. Um, once I get there, there are definitely a lot of turns. Um, most definitely a lot of turns. Um, if you go down here, there they are. Pufferfish. they die? Oh, no, nope, they're just hiding. I can barely see them there. Okay, well, you can edit that. That should be the end of the episode. Bye-bye. Please like and subscribe.